Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the May 2020 reading for my Aries, okay? So if you have Aries anywhere on your natal chart, my love, then this message is intended for you, okay? So let us see what the messages are for you guys for this month. Now keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so this may include... Things about your finances and or career. Things dealing with your family, friends, and or your spouses, okay? So if you have any relationships going on, cool. You know, it may have something to do with people who are interested in sparking a relationship or what have you. All different topics, subjects, what have you, okay? Let us get into this message for you guys. What is the message for our Aryans for May? 2020 let us see messages for Aries for May 2020 Aries for May 2020 uh -oh. let us see someone may have experienced the miscarriage or loss of a child my sincere condolences on that transition okay First card out for you guys for the month of May 2020 is Third Eye Chakra in Reverse. Second card out is Spiritual Strength. Third card out is Partnerships and Alliances. Fourth card out is Material Harvest. I like this energy for you guys so far. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. I'm seeing where spirit is taking this thing. And I'm feeling the energy somewhere in there. But we'll wait on it. There it is. Conflict and defeat. Okay. We have more, you guys. Rejoice and celebration. Temptation is here. And light, okay? Underline the energy, accelerated motion. This is a really, really, really good time for you guys, okay? So what I'm getting here is, yeah, ooh. When it comes to certain foundations, certain stability, certain achievements that you want to achieve, you're going to be seeing those things happen, okay? And happening very, very quickly with accelerated motion. However, I feel like you guys are letting go of some people and things that you had to remove yourself your energy or what have you from okay this comes when you're sprouting you're evolving and those people are staying the same and you realize you know what these two energies they no longer they no longer match so i'm gonna have to remove myself okay now for the overall spread here what i'm seeing third chakra energy and reverse third eye chakra sorry this is you guys feeling like maybe you're just tired tired of going through what have you um endings with friendships is what i just heard okay you guys are constantly going through oh this is a good friend oh no it's not this is somebody i can trust oh no it's not like it's like you get to trusting people and then you see their true colors so you guys feel extremely tired of not being able to rely on and depend on the people around you okay however spirit is guiding you to perhaps look into the connections that you have right now as well because as you continue to manifest certain things and bring certain things into your physical reality because i feel like you guys are really awesome manifestors okay that's what i'm seeing here whoever i'm speaking to you guys have no problem with manifesting whatever you want whenever you want it okay this is the energy that i'm seeing here however because of the stuff that you're going through in a very physical real life everyday type of thing um or type of way it's blocking your manifestation at the moment okay so spirit is trying to let you know that somebody sees you as like a golden ticket or a golden meal ticket i just heard okay and it's because of you being so, you know, illuminated, you knowing certain things, you being so enlightened, you being so conscious, you being so aware. This person sees you as, ooh, you know, ooh, shiny. It's like a moth to a light kind of situation, okay? So be very careful of the energy that you're entertaining right now is the message that you guys are getting for May 2020. So this 
in general has me excited for the hidden truth message if you do not know every month i always do hidden truths for you guys and now i have that as a featured service over on blueoverhealing.net so if you want to book a hidden truth personal message with me that would be something that you might want to look into because this person whoever this energy is they see you as somebody who's accelerating as doing well okay or this is you somebody else cross watchers who may be in the room may feel like this towards aries okay it may be some aries who are doing this okay who are looking at someone as Oh, look at them. Look at their light. Let me get close to them. Let me be attached to them. It's kind of like riding somebody's coattails just to be able to say you went along for the ride. Okay. So let us see what we have here for our Aries for the month of May 2020. What do we got? I do see here many, many reasons to celebrate though. Okay. Like I see you having a lot of your plans coming through as successful. All right. I see you expanding. I see a lot of networking and marketing taking place for those of you who are in the entrepreneurial or business side of things, okay? I see you making the appropriate connections to be able to get yourself to where it is that you want to be. Yep. I feel you getting out of contracts that are non-reciprocal with the star card and the six of pentacles in reverse. So in any way where people were giving you have as treatment excuse my language um you're cutting off those relationships and those connections okay to be more acquainted with the relationships and people that suit you okay suit your vision you know are more in alignment with where it is you're trying to go and all of that stuff okay let's see <clears throat> the ten of cups is in reverse so i feel here for some of you guys it may be family and friends that you have to separate yourself from okay to be honest I see here you have your energy in an upright position with the Queen of Wands. And yet we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Um, some family and friends may not be happy for your decisions. Some family and friends may not give you the same amount of energy and effort and consistency that you give them. I feel this energy where you constantly take away from yourself to make sure that everybody else is okay, but they don't do the same thing for you. So now there's this energy where you need to stand up for yourself and stand up for what you believe in with the Knave of Wands in reverse. Okay. Ooh. I see, yep, the Ten of Swords here in reverse, along with the King of Cups in reverse. And we got a couple of jumpers, okay? It could be a water sign, two water signs involved. These people could be in a relationship, all right? One of these people could have told you that they were going to be with you. They were going to leave their person. Maybe you were involved in a third-party situation, a lot of you as well, okay? However, I feel this sense where this person is never going to leave that person. They're always going to be together. However, with them both being in reverse, I also feel this energy where they kind of be they kind of belong together. Let them just be where they at, okay? With this Five of Swords energy, it's kind of like you win. You see that somebody, maybe, like I said, somebody sees you as a golden meal ticket, okay? Maybe this person uses you for financial wealth or financial well-being of the couple in general and that is just wild okay like they use you for what you can offer them and you think it's just you and this person but they take that to back to their wife or they take that back to their husband okay it's that type of energy got the five of swords here twice guys okay so a lot of conflict when it comes to what it is that you think okay so you thinking one thing but it's something else and it's coming from two different people both of these people are water signs okay so water sign energy being cancer scorpio or pisces all right yeah these people are in cahoots with this energy here okay against you in some way shape from a fashion with this nine of swords here it may be something that you think and you feel all right maybe something that you know and this is something that's been driving you absolutely nuts for a while you thought somebody was committed to you but you realize they've been playing with your feelings and emotions this entire time with these two nights coming out together okay so somebody's going ghost either you're going ghost on this person or they're going ghost on you okay yeah, Nine of Pentacles, you back being independent, so forth and what have you. But here's the thing, with you doing that and you tending to yourself, I honestly feel like you're going to attract the person that's meant for you, all right? These other people, like I said, they have some type of scheme going on or some type of like shady ass plan. Like I said, I am really excited to look into you guys' hidden truth message later on in the month because there's clearly a lot of shit going on, you know what I mean? So it looks like a third party situation that some of you may have been in, okay, with someone and this person, maybe you didn't, you know, 
maybe you thought they were going to leave their spouse, but I don't feel like they're going to in any way, shape, or fashion. I feel like they were using you. I feel like their spouse is aware of what's going on, all right? But I do feel that there's going to be another fire sign that comes in, all right? So another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, who is going to be that person? Like I said, you're going to make that appropriate connection with. I feel a lot of reasons to celebrate, so forth, and what have you. Dating and everything else going on for you. But it's just not going to be with that person, all right? So that's cool. But let's see what else we have to say to our Aries for the month of May 2020. All right. May 2020 for our Aries. If this is your message or it resonated with you, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, guys, please do subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you back, okay? Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. What do we have here for our Aries? Ha, we have the Magician and the Mirror in Reverse, okay? So, yeah, I feel this energy where they were trying to scheme and get over on you. But Hero of the Ages is here, so it's kind of like you were... A step or two ahead of the game. You probably already knew this. With the fifth chakra here, it's like communication is going to come from these people or person sometime soon. But I feel like because now you're hip to it, you're going to block that out. Yeah, the world card is here. That situation has come to a close and you are freeing yourself with the garden and the gate in reverse, okay? Freeing yourself from a situation that was clearly not meant for you. It was never going to go anywhere and it was blocking your personal healing and happiness. And like I said, yeah, this is something that you've been thinking about, you were aware of. So you already started withdrawing your love and your feelings and emotions and with everything else, you know? So, yeah, guys, this is an interesting month for you, all right? If this resonated with you, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair, breeze.